In this video, we are going to learn about deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a type of reasoning where you draw conclusions based solely on facts. The alternative to deductive reasoning is inductive reasoning, where you are reasoning based on examples and patterns. So with deductive reasoning, the difference is you're basing everything on actual facts that you know are true. There are a few logical rules and laws that are important when it comes to deductive reasoning. The first is called the law of detachment. So let's look at an example. If I told you these two statements right here were true. If I go to school, then I take math. I go to school. What would you conclude based on this? There's basically one logical conclusion based on these two statements, assuming these two things are true. That would be, I must take math. Why? Well, if the first statement is true, it says, if I go to school, then I take math. And the second one here says, I go to school, that means I must take math. So the symbolic representation of this would be, if P then Q is true, and I know P is true, my overall conclusion is that Q has to also be true. The second law that's important to know, a logical law, is called the law of contrapositive. Here's an example of that. Again, if I go to school, then I take math, but this time I don't take math. What's the conclusion that you could draw in this case? Well, if I don't take math, then I must not go to school. Because if I went to school, then I would take math. So the conclusion is, I don't go to school. You might recognize that word contrapositive. The contrapositive, remember, is when you take the hypothesis and conclusion and switch them and negate them to make a new statement, which is the contrapositive. So this is the law of contrapositive because that's actually what we're doing. We're taking the negated part of the second of the conclusion and if that's true, then it means the negated part of the first the hypothesis also has to be true. So the symbolic notation for this would be, if P then Q is true, so if I go to school, then I take math, if we know that's true, and we also know that I don't take math, not Q, the opposite of the second part of your statement, the overall conclusion is that you must not do the original hypothesis, not P, okay? Now there's one third logical law that's good to know, which is the law of syllogism. So this is sort of like the transitive property except with sense sentences. So if I say, if I go to school, then I take math. If I take math, then I have homework. So what is sort of the overall conclusion you can make about this situation is, well, if I go to school, then I must have homework. Because if I go to school, then I take math. And if I take math, I have homework. So if I go to school, I have to have homework. There's no way around it. So this is combining sort of two sentences together. If the first one is if P, then Q, and the second one is if Q, then R, a third thing, then what I know, if both of those things are true, it means if P is true, then R automatically has to be true as well. So these three logical properties will help us a lot when we're doing deductive reasoning.